Hello everybody. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to cite and also make a work cited or bibliography page using Google Docs citation tool, which is amazing and it's only gotten better over time. So the book I'm going to be using to show you what I, how to cite is a book called Mohawk Nation. And so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tools. I'm going to click on cite I'm going to click on citations. And now I'm going to add some information here that it's asking me for. So we're going to be citing in MLA format and I want to add my citation source. So this is a book of course. And I'm going to choose print because it's print. Now, this is new since last year and it gives you the option to search using an ISBN number. This is absolutely the easiest way to create the citation. And what is an ISBN number, you may ask? It is this little barcode number on the bottom back of the book. You see that? That is the ISBN number. And that's what I'm going to enter right now into my citation tool. 978-177-0001. One, two, eight, one. Okay, search, it's gonna find it for me. There it is. So I'm gonna click the button that says continue. I'm just going to scroll to the bottom. It's just making me review the information. Add citation source. Now, if I was paraphrasing or using a direct quote from the book in my paper, I, I would type it out and so, here in my doc, I would put today there are more than 42,000 Mohawks in eight communities. Okay. And I want to add my citation. So what I'm going to do is I scroll over my created citation and I click cite. And it asked me for the page number. So I just have to put it in. It was on page seven that I found that information. And we're done. Amazing. Now, what about a website? Well, we can use the same tool. So I found a website. I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to go back to my document and I want to add another citation source. This time it's a website. I'm going to paste my URL and I'm going to search. There is my beautiful citation. I'm going to click continue. I'm going to wants me to review it. I scroll to the bottom, add citation source. There it is. Now I can cite it the same way. Now, once I'm all done writing my paper, if I want to, once I'm all done writing my paper, if I want to insert a works cited or bibliography page, all I have to do is go to a new page, of course, of our document, because usually a bibliography or a works cited is its own page. And I will click insert works cited. Look at that. It creates the bibliography page for you. You can call it either works cited or bibliography, whatever your teacher prefers. And there you have it. Google Docs does all the work for you. It's an amazing tool and I highly recommend you get very comfortable with it because you'll be using it all through high school and university. Thanks guys.